It's J Mate the Fanatic and I'm back. And as you guys can see, um, I've got these vintage early 90s, 76ers shorts. They're from 1991. They're super fucking dope. And uh, yeah, I'm about to get rid of them, guys. I'm making an even exchange, no cash considerations. So I wanted to get in to review these real quick before I send them away, all right? And uh, like I said, I'm gonna do a part two video of the shorts I'm gonna get back. So I won't have an opportunity to show these after they're gone, so let's get into it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, now's the time to take that opportunity. All right, let's get into it. I've shown these before in another video, but let's take a closer look. 1991, got some marker in there as very common. Inseam and rise on game worn shorts, you've gonna have this. Plus two and plus one. Um, custom made for the player. What player? Well, number 35, it might be Clarence Weatherspoon. Now, someone could have easily just written this with the marker, but why would they do that? You know, it's like, oh, I got Clarence Weatherspoon shorts. <laughs> no, I don't know. But it's a size 40, which is what I wear. I can wear 38 through 42, which is basically a large through extra large or I don't know, something like that. All right. It's basically a, a large, large. I don't know how to explain it. It's basically like... Yeah, 40 is an extra large. 42 is like a extra large plus, but not an extra large, not a double XL, if you know what I mean. And 38 is right under the XL, which is a large plus, if you know what I'm saying. Because they do have, you know, all types of sizes, very specific to the players. Now, getting into it, uh, you have this what's it called dyed into the material i forgot the name of it sublimated sorry sublimated into the material here the old sixers logo which is pretty cool actually reminds me of more of a baseball but it's all good <laughs> you get the stars classic stars going around in a circle here and then uh, the red seven the the blue six um and the outline of the basketball in blue all right coming over to here you've got the sweet stars going down representing you know like the american flag 1976, all right? Um, the Sixers here in red, and the blue part is fades into it, guys. It's pretty cool, all right? Uh, you know, there's not too much to talk about, but I wanted to show these off. NBA logo over here, good old Jerry West. <laughs> all right, so the waistband is super thick. It does come with the drawstring. These are actual game-worn shorts. Well, I can't prove that, but they're at least game-issued. And probably game worn. Um, totally plain on the back. This is the this is just the the golden era guys for me as far as like uniform designs. So this is one of the top ones, and I'm exchanging it for another one of the top ones, which is the Golden State with the California State uh, outline like uh, on the thigh. All right. So I'm gonna review those when I get them make a part two. Actually, I'm probably going to combine. I just won't make this video. I'll leave it. I won't make a two part video. I'll make like a one video, including both. All right. So here we have it, the Golden State Warriors shorts, and we're going to take a closer look. These shorts are from the 95, 96 season. My sixers were 91. So both very rare though. Plus two, plus two, which is great. And it's a size 42. I think that's a seven. Or six, I don't know. I guess that's a six. Jerome Kersey, apparently. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't really care much about that. Whoever actually did wear these, if someone actually did wear them. I just like that they're the game fucking quality, guys. And they don't sell this type of shorts in retail anywhere. Mitchell and Ness does do a good job of making the authentic shorts that are good quality and, and replicate these, but... It's not the exact same, the stitching and just the the mesh, the exact type of mesh. It's just, you know, this is actually either worn on the court or it's exactly what would have been worn on the court, guys. So <laughs> here is what I was talking about, the California State logo. And so it's like, you know, they wear these, I guess, as a throwback now, but uh chris mullen tim hardaway mitch richmond run cmc there was also latrell sprewell wore these and some other some other guys so 
You've got the yellow mesh going down the side here, the blue and white striping, um, striping across here. And, you know, as always, the NBA logo. But that's about it. The blue, thick waistband, plain, uh, very, very, very plain, not much to it. On the Sixers, you had the, the stars and stripes and then the Sixers here. And then you had also a Sixers logo over here. So this only gives you one logo. But guys, to find these in my size, or well, one of my sizes that I like to wear in these game worn shorts is amazing. My Sixers is also very rare. I, I All in all, I'd say it's about an even swap. All right. Um, I have some other Sixers shorts where I don't, whereas I don't have any Golden State shorts. And Mitchell and Ness only makes these in the blue. Now, maybe these uh, Mitchell and Ness experts who are on Instagram or not Instagram, YouTube, maybe they know there was an early run that they made of these. I don't know of it. All I've only seen Mitchell and Ness make the royal color, the away road authentic warrior shorts in this style. So when that is the case, I like to grab it because it makes it even more rare. All right. Not only are these game worn shorts as an upgrade to the Mitchell and Ness authentics, but sometimes Mitchell and Ness doesn't even make this certain colorways, which makes it even, you know, more, I guess, covetable to me personally. All right. So that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one, boys. Thank you.